Hello, it's Adam from Adam's Mockups. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to design mockups for your clothing brand as a beginner in 2024. I've been designing clothes for over two years for brands all over the world, and this is the method that all of your favorite brands are using to create their mockups for their clothing brands and for their manufacturers. The software that you want to use to design your clothes is called Adobe Illustrator. There are a few other options such as Affinity Designer or a free online website called Photo p but adobe illustrator is very well known and is used by all of the largest brands for example kanye west and virgil abloh both talk about using it when they were both starting their brands so if you just google adobe illustrator the top one that comes up will take you to a 14 day free trial where you can just sign up for that and download and you can start designing straight away so here i am inside of adobe illustrator when you open up adobe illustrator it's just going to look like this this box is going to pop up where you can can create your artboard which is number one on Adam's guide to designing clothing in 2024. Pick the size of your artboard you just want it to be probably 1920 by 1080 pixels have it set to this orientation landscape or horizontal if you prefer but I'm going to choose landscape and just press create it's going to create a blank artboard like this I'm also going to open up my mock-up packs I have the gray version and the colored version open I think I'm going to use the color version in this video but this is my mock-up pack you can download it in the link in the description there's over 200 different mock-ups here and as you can see it was last updated a few days ago there is quite literally hundreds of mock-ups here that you can use all made by me these are all colored you can go into the gray version as well before we do any of that we're gonna understand your tools so you have your toolbar here you can either drag it around or if you drag it to the left it will just lock it here and you only really need a few of these but starting with the top one you have the selection tool you can either click on it here or you can press v on your keyboard and that will change to the selection tool but with the selection tool selected i'm going to go through and select my mock-ups from my mock-up pack but i'm going to pick hoodie v1 and holding shift i can select multiple mock-ups so with hoodie v1 selected i'm also going to go for hood showcase i'll pick a zip hoodie as well I'll, I'll pick the zip hood showcase and deselect the hood showcase i'm just clicking it again to deselect it with shift selected once again as for t-shirts i'm going to pick basic t-shirt v6 and i will also take the long sleeve side view for jackets i'll take a puffer jacket and i'll also take a varsity jacket varsity jacket v1 as for pants i will take the baggy sweatpants as well as cargo pants v4 i will take the baseball cap v1 and finally i'll take the female bike jacket for now those are the items i'm going to go for so i'm just going to control c to copy these and control v to paste them into my blank artboard and these should all be the right size and you should be able to just drag them all in and organize them nicely in your artboard so to finish off going through the tools second on the list here we have the direct selection tool so as you can see after we've brought these all in they are grouped they're all in their own little groups which makes them nice and organized but it means that they get selected together like this so but you can just click on them and press ungroup and now they are all in their separate parts and you can change and edit everything individually so with the direct selection tool it doesn't matter if it's grouped or not it is still just going to select the individual parts so direct selection tool ignores all of the grouping we use this sometimes not all the time but sometimes third we have the pen tool this is just for creating pen lines like this you can just create basic little shapes and place them on your items here we have shapes if you hold down on this it will give you more options so you can pick more shapes but say i want a rectangle i could put a rectangle on the back of here say if i make it blue a darker shade of blue then I've kind of got a patch now on the back of my hoodie. Here we have the paintbrush tool. You can just create paintbrush strokes. So say I just wanted to create like 
an arrow then I could do something like that with the direct selection tool I can select the individual points so I could just move this make it a little bit shorter and if I were to make this white then there we go probably gonna get rid of that but you can see how the pen tool is used then we have the text tool here so this is just for any text that you want to add so you just click and you can type anything you want if i just type my name i could put this on the chest here and if i select a different font from down here i'm going to go for this font if i make this bigger and i'm just double clicking this color box here you just double click and it will open up this color picker you can then change this to any color you want i think i'll stick with black for this and i'll just put that on the chest like that and I'll also holding alt I'm just going to drag and select to make a copy of this I'm gonna get rid of these letters make this bigger if I put it on the back of the hood here and then using the eyedropper tool here personally I do not actually use any of these tools in between the text and the eyedropper tool I usually ignore all of these if you really want to get to know these I'm sure there's videos on YouTube but the next one is the eyedropper tool that you want to use and if I select this bit of text use the eyedropper tool and select this orange then it's going to make my piece of text the same as whatever this is so now it's orange with a black outline just like this I'm actually going to get rid of the black outline and just make the orange slightly darker to make this sort of print effect on the back of the hood and that is how you use the text tool and those are all of the tools that you need to know so we've used this bit a little bit but this is pretty straightforward it's just fill stroke fill is the inside color so orange this is grouped together so i need to ungroup this and if i select this you can see it is orange and the stroke is black and it's set to two i can increase this and make it thicker but it should be set to two that is the default now we have all of the tools explained uh, i'm going to delete these i'm actually happy with how this is looking but as for the rest of them i'm going to start customizing so starting with the hoodie now i've brought some graphics into here an important thing to know is the difference between pngs and svg so you always want to use an SVG when it is possible this means it is infinitely scalable and it is in illustrator format they do not go blurry they're not made out of pixels as you can see all of these will never be blurry because they're all SVGs if I were to bring in a PNG for example if I zoom in you can see it goes blurry so this is a PNG you can use these but you want to make sure they're high quality as you can see all of these will never be blurry because they're all SVGs I've got the Lakers logo, Louis Vuitton and the Spider logo and I've just found this dice and this heart from a website called vectz.com which has a bunch of random vectors that you can use and I'm going to use them to design some clothes so my hoodie for the hoodie I think we'll use the spider so if I drag this in you see it's behind your mockups you want to right click arrange bring to front and it's going to bring it to the front like this i'm just going to size it down i'm holding shift and make sure that it keeps its shape and i'm just going to shape this down like so i'm going to change the color of my hoodie i'm going to select everything holding shift i'm going to select my logo to deselect it because i've dragged and selected everything and then i'm just going to deselect the logo and i'm going to change this to a different shade of blue more of this kind of blue and then i just select the inside of the hood and make this slightly darker to add some depth to my mock-up if i google a spider hoodie they typically have this big cobweb and then these lots of little stars and little shapes dotted around so if i find a cobweb svg so if i go on to vectz.com and type in cobweb i should find one this one looks pretty good if i do download now and if i just make this smaller and drag it over my hoodie so and i think i'm gonna flip this upside down make sure that the text is on top i see the examples the cobweb does go over the pocket so i'm gonna make this quite large and for the shapes i'm gonna use the shape tool i'm gonna get some stars 
replace some stars and that is my hoodie design done moving on to the zip hoodie i think i'm gonna make this black and i think we're gonna go for like and i think we're gonna go for some sort of design on the hood as this is the hood showcase hoodie so if i just select my pen tool i am just going to try and create a sort of smile like so and but no i will make it red i think and i will create some teeth in here i'm going to use the pen tool once again i am just figuring it out as i go along which is what i recommend you do now a very important note to mention and i will make sure to timestamp this is the clipping mask and it has just come up that i need to use the clipping mask so as you can see this tooth i'm trying to create inside this mouth sort of thing is going off the edge so if anything is going over the edge or you want to do any sort of all over print or anything like that you're going to want to use the clipping mask now this is very simple so say i want this tooth to be cut off by this shape here then i just get this shape I select it I put it in the front I just right click arrange bring to front so it's on top and then you just want to select the tooth as well with them both selected you right click and press make clipping mask and there you go it's been perfectly cut off the only thing that has happened here is the color has gone from from our mouth so I'm going to have the direct selection tool selected find the mouth there it is and I just reapply the red color perfect and now my tooth has been cut off now i think that looks good like that i'm actually just gonna select all of the teeth and everything i'm gonna press group like this and it's just gonna group this mouth that we've created and holding shift i'm gonna drag it over here right click this transform reflect and it's just gonna reflect it now if any of this seems complicated it's really not complicated it's just once you understand it it's it's not complicated so i'm just flipping this vertically and just making sure that it is in the right spot so there we go we have our hood design made next i'm going to move on to the t-shirt so for the t-shirt I think we will use the dice and I'm just gonna go for a classic white t-shirt I'm gonna put the dice on the back of the t-shirt like so and I'm gonna hop back into my mock-up pack and I'm just gonna find a little pocket that I can put on the chest something like this and I'm just gonna place this on the chest of my t-shirt like that on the chest and I can actually change the color of the stitching to white I think that would look better and in here again I'm just gonna place a little image of our dice like so I actually change the color of this pocket to this lighter gray color as I kind of play around with it and set the stitching back to black like that there we go I think I'm happy with how that's looking I think we should keep these joggers red as they are but put some text down the leg so I'm once again just gonna type my name if I make this nice and big and just turn it 90 degrees now this is probably the wrong mock-up to choose because all of the others are straight legged and would have been easier but I can just go into effect warp and arch arc and just bend this slightly like so i think if we go for this kind of arabic looking font down the leg like so and just play around with the colors and everything like that until you find something you're happy with and i'm also going to add a drawstring from the mock-up pack and just place this on the front of my mock-up like so there we go like that i think that's looking good now for these i think we'll go for like a khaki green colorway for these i think we'll just keep these all black maybe if we just add a little bit of branding subtle branding real small like so for the long sleeve i'm gonna make the base of the long sleeve white and make the arms blue as well as the neck and we'll just take this little adam text here make it a bit smaller and put it on the arms and once again i'm just going to reflect this place it on the other arm and there we go for our varsity jacket i'm going to use the louis vuitton logo and try and create a louis vuitton star varsity i'm going to put this logo big on the back i think we'll make the varsity jacket brown base of it like a dark brown and just make this louis vuitton a little bit lighter like that 
there you go, like Louis Vuitton sort of colorway. And then if we just use the shape tool again, make a little circle on the chest to kind of make it look like a badge. We want to make the base of the varsity jacket brown like this. With my varsity jacket, I'm just gonna use the Louis Vuitton logo, put this big on the back, position this in the middle. These guidelines will come up when you're trying to place it in the right position, it will start locking uh, in the right places. And maybe the inside darker brown to add the depth to the mock-up. And I'm gonna make this just slightly lighter to match the Louis Vuitton colorway. On the chest, I'm gonna create a little circle and use this as a badge. And in here, we'll just place the logo again, holding Alt, dragging it. And if we press ungroup here, then we can ungroup the symbol from the text and then just select all of the pieces of text and delete them. So we've just got the symbol like that, make this slightly bigger. Now using my pen tool up here, once again, select the pen tool and I'm gonna create just a long rectangle here for the strips at the bottom of the ribbing of the varsity jacket. So if I select here, holding shift, I'm moving my mouse to the right and it's gonna keep this on a straight line. So if I'm holding shift, then it's just gonna make sure this is staying straight. When it's on the other side, I'm just gonna click, go down a bit and make my rectangle, join up all the points. I can see that this point is slightly, I put this in the wrong place, but I'm just gonna, with the direct selection tool selected, I can move this little point so it's in the right place like that. I'm gonna make this the same shade of brown that we are using for the logo and make sure that it's got a stroke of two. I'm gonna click on these buttons and these lines here, right click on them, arrange, bring to front. Now you can see that this has actually got a fill on it so it's kind of messing up our design. So I'm just gonna select that and disable the fill by pressing this little white box with the red strike through. There we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the back and on the two wrists. And there we are, now we've got our Louis Vuitton Varsity made. I'm gonna move on to the women's trucker jacket. Gonna keep it the color it is, like this denim blue color. On the chest, I'm just gonna try and draw a heart with my pen tool, like so. Increase the width, and I'm just gonna make that red. And on the back, I'm gonna scatter them all over, rotate, I will reflect a few of them and change some of their colors. I'll change this one to yellow. The zippers have been grouped together because they're a bunch of little parts. So to keep them organized, they've all been grouped together. Instead of ungrouping it and separating all of the separate parts, I'm gonna use the direct selection tool and just select this bit of the zipper, this bit and this bit, and just press delete. And it's deleted the zipper, but this is all still grouped together. And I'm just gonna Go into my mock-up pack and select a different zip. We've got a heart zip pull, so that's the one I'm gonna use. Size this down and just place it there. And I'm gonna replace this heart because it looks a little bit thin. I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna use this heart that I made before. Make it a bit smaller, bring it to the front and there we go, just like that. And I'm happy with how that's looking. Finally, I'm gonna do the baseball cap. And on my hat, I'm just gonna use the heart again. I'm gonna bring it to the front, put it big in the center like so. If I need to move my little hole so I can do that, just gonna ungroup. I'm gonna remove these little holes because they're gonna be covered by the heart. We'll make the hat the same color as our jacket. I've got the big red heart on the front and I think on the back, I'll just put some little yellow hearts like so. And these can just be like embroidered patches like so. And on my side view, I also wanna add my heart. This is gonna be reflected. And once again, I'm gonna use my clipping mask because you can see that this is going off the edge, but we want it cut off here. So I'm gonna select this whole hat here. I'm gonna deselect the heart, right click, arrange, bring to front. So it's all in front of the heart, select, this base layer, select the heart, right click, make clipping mask, and there we go. Now it's cut it off. It's gotten rid of the color again, but we just need to add that like before. Use the eyedropper tool and I'm going. And to patch this, because these are not inside of the clipping mask, what I'm gonna do is select these three lines. I'm gonna copy them. I'm gonna delete them. I'm gonna double click on the heart to go inside of the clipping mask. And once I'm inside the clipping mask, you can see up here, clip group. I'm gonna press control V and just place these back where they were and once you've got them back where they were you can press your heart right click arrange bring to front and there we go now all of your designs are done and you have created your clothing collection with the adams mock-up pack as for adding measurement guides this can all be done with the tech pack which is also linked below but if you just want to add basic measurement guides to your mock-up then just get the pen tool click like this i like to just create one line like this going out 
and then a straight line for my measurement and then another line like this. I'm gonna disable the fill. I'm gonna make the stroke a little bit thicker and make it red like so. And then you can just get the text tool and type in your measurement. You wanna make sure you're using a clear font. For example, the sleeve length could be 60 one centimeters like so and you can just place that there for your manufacturer but i do recommend using a tech pack as for creating your tech pack for your manufacturer this full walkthrough is live on my channel as you can see it on the screen here this takes you through all the steps that you need to know to create your tech pack and there's also a ready to use template live on my store that you can send straight to your manufacturer you just need to fill it out and this includes everything that your manufacturer might need to know to avoid any confusion and avoid wasting any money on bad samples incorrect samples anything like that thank you for watching this video if you have any questions about anything i did in this video just comment that below and i will make sure to reply and i will see you in the next one thank you very much